Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick video on how to set the taco up. So, I've made my connection to the coil. Um, it goes to cylinder number one, the top cylinder. Um, this is the same for Yamaha and Tahatsu's. Um, then you need to make the white wire go back to a good earthing point. Um, I've just put this one under the engine lifter. Um, I know this is a good earth. Um, ideally, you should run it back to one of the earths where the coils go back to. So, um, once you've done that, um, you need to go to your taco. Uh, make sure you've got plenty of water running through your engine and start it over. Okay, so... Okay, so that taco at the moment is reading wrong. The Yamaha's got a hot start on it, so it actually advances the timing for a little while. Um, when it settled off, it was reading about 500 revs, which is half of what I need. So to adjust that, you hold your finger on the reset button. I think it's about 10 seconds, and then it will say 2 2P1R, that's twice per one revolution once per two revolutions is one every third and then the setting that we want to put it onto is one pulse per revolution so if you go back into the settings keep your thumb on and then release and press again and that will say one pulse per one revolution release the button and it will reset and then I'll just start the engine again so once this has gone through its hot start phase we want it to um, show about a thousand revs and then what I'll do is I'll rev the engine up and take it to kind of 3000 revs and then I'll show you the rev recall which is when I turn the key off it will actually display the maximum revs in that session for 5 seconds ok so I'll just do that now Call the max revs for that second for that run um, it will flash on display five times and then reset so when you're doing your prop runs just remember to look at the taco as soon as you turn the key off or pull the kill switch off that will give you your um, max revs for that session so any questions give me a call